by the end of this video, you'll know how to set up a dissolve effect to show and hide the hypno effect. This is meant for the screen space DLC, the focus DLC, and avatars that have either generic contact presets, or a custom contact preset, or the material, the hypno material that goes on something that isn't the eye of the avatar itself, like a, a specular lens or something similar. So in the case of our Chalo here, we have our hypno material that we created um, using the custom contact method. And as you can see, we can hide it and it'll show the normal eyes. That's because the hypno goes on a new material slot that doesn't interfere with the eyes. And so this method is more meant for that. In cases where the hypno is on the eye itself, you're gonna to wanna to use a different tutorial that we have linked in the description itself. So go ahead and check that out. But if you, in case you wanna just set this up on a screen space or a focus DLC or a contacts or a specular lens, you can go ahead and follow this tutorial. So let's go ahead and find our material, go into special effects and enable dissolve. And we're gonna pick a dissolve noise texture right here, which is going to determine the style of the dissolve. So we can go ahead and put in any texture we want and then move the progress slider right here to see the dissolve. And as you can see, we already are hiding and showing this perfectly fine. You can adjust the margin here to make this dissolve um, sharper or more smoothed out, or change the noise texture here, or tile it to adjust the style of it. Now, you're gonna want to animate this dissolve progress. You're gonna wanna do it either using VRC Fury or an animation clip with a toggle, just doing it the old fashioned way. I'm gonna be using VRC Fury here because it's simpler. So first off, you're going to want to set Dissolve Progress to Animated by clicking this button. It'll turn red, and this will make sure that once we lock this material that we can still change this value. Now let's go ahead and copy property name, add a new MT onto our avatar, call it Hypno Eyes, add component, toggle, and your path, Hypno Eyes, and then in the options, enable transition state. This is going to let us specify the off state and the on state. So for the off state, let's add a material property. Render needs to be the render that our eye material is on or the hypno material is on. So for us, it's gonna be the body. For the property, we're gonna paste in the value that we just copied. And now the value here is going to correspond to the dissolve progress, it corresponds to the hypno eye being, sh uh, being hidden. So for us, it's gonna be one because we want our off state to not show the hypno. So let's set the value to one and then set up the on state. Let's go ahead and set that to be material property. Same thing with the render, same thing with the property. Now the value is going to correspond to the value here that will show the hypno. So for us, it's gonna be zero. So it is zero. Now I'll set up the blend time. So going from on to off, I want that to take one second. And then on to off, it's gonna take one second as well. Before uploading, you're gonna to wanna to make sure that the dissolve progress is set to one. Otherwise, you might run into some issues. Um, where this just kind of animation just, just kind of doesn't work in VR chat. And that's it. You can now go ahead and test this in VR chat. Now in VR chat, go ahead and open up our radial menu, go into expressions. We have our hypno option here that we added. And let's click on the eyes option. And as you can see, our hypno material shows up and then disappears. And yeah, that's about it. Remember, this will work for screen space and focus DLCs the same way. So you can go ahead and follow the same exact steps here to make those fade in and out or dissolve in and out like this as well. Have fun.